What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, former unified welterweight world champion, superstar boxer Keith One Tom Thurman, who has 30 wins, one loss, no draw, 22 wins by way of knockout. Keith Thurman is 33 years of age, 5 foot 8, with a 69 inch homage. Last time we saw Keith Thurman in the ring was February 5th of this year when he took on former WBA junior welterweight world champion Mexican star boxer Mario Barrios in which Keith Thurman won a unanimous decision against Mario Barrios uh, ending a two and a half nearly three year layoff okay last time we saw Keith Thurman in the ring prior to that was July of 2019 uh, when he took on and lost to legendary eight division world champion iconic Filipino superstar boxer and Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao with that said uh, Keith Thurman uh, responds and accepts the challenge to face off against a former four of his in uh, former two division world champion Puerto Rican superstar boxer Danny Swift Garcia who made uh, his ring return after an extensive layoff he was out the ring for 19 months since losing his last fight against uh, Danny Garcia is uh, 37 wins three losses no draws uh, 21 wins by way of knockout he is uh, 34 years of age Danny Garcia is uh, um, five foot eight with a 68 inch army, 69 inch army. With that said, uh, Danny Garcia and Keith Thurman they fought already. Okay, uh, so Danny Garcia coming off a loss to to now undefeated unified three belt WBC, WBA, IBF, uh, welterweight world champion superstar boxer who is widely considered by many to be uh, top two, if not the best pound for pound fighter in the world, and Terence Bud Crawford. Okay. Um, I'm excusing it, Earl the Truth Spence Jr. Okay, um, that was Earl Spence's 28 wins, no losses, no draw, uh, 22 wins by way of knockout. He's 32 years of age, five foot nine and a half with a 72 inch armage. With that said, that took place uh, December 5th of 2020, and Dan, uh, Danny Garcia got outclassed and dominated in that fight. He stated that he went through a, a depression time. You know, uh, he had some dark days. You know, he's obviously dealing with the global pandemic. There's a lot of things going on, and he took that big loss to Errol Spence. And Danny Garcia, he stated that, you know, um, he had a lot going on. That's the reason why he lost. But also, Errol Spence had a lot going on. He was coming off 14-month layoff after suffering that horrific car accident just 12 days after unifying the belts against two-time welterweight world champion superstar boxer Showtime Sean Porter, who's a future Hall of Famer, retired future Hall of Famer. With that said, Danny Garcia... He made his debut at 154 this past Saturday against um, Jose Benavidez Jr., uh, once promising welterweight title contender, Mexican star boxer, uh, who suffered an injury to his leg outside the sport of boxing and derailed his career, essentially. Uh, Danny Garcia and Jose Benavidez fought at 154, his debut at 154. And afterwards, Danny Garcia, he called out multi-division world champion, Cuban superstar boxer, Erislandi Lara, but he also called out Keith Thurman, okay, said he wanted to fight Keith Thurman because Keith Thurman is the first person that took the O uh, on, on, off his resume. Uh, he wanted to rectify that. He thought it was a close fight. He thought he won the fight against Keith Thurman. He wants to uh, face off against Keith Thurman. Uh, Keith Thurman initially stated that he wanted to face off against undefeated three-division world champion, former junior welterweight, undisputed world champion, currently the reigning WBO, World Boston Organization, welterweight world champion who was widely considered by many to be the number one best pound for pound fighter in the world in Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Crawford is 38 wins, no losses, no draw, 29 big wins by way of knockout. He is 34 years of age, five foot eight with a 70 inch arm reach. Keith Thurman turned down Terrence Crawford. Uh, initially he stated, oh, give me to um, July after his fight with Sean Porter. Terrence Crawford is coming off of a impressive biggest win in his career uh, stopping Sean Porter in the 10th round his fight doing something that's never been done stopping Sean Porter in the 10th round then November 20th showdown in Las Vegas at the Mandalay Bay Arena after the fight Keith Thurman said he saw some holes in Terrence Crawford game uh, he didn't see no boogie man uh, he definitely saw a beatable fighter and give him eight months and he'll fight Terrence Crawford which means he would have been ready to fight Terrence Crawford in July from November you're talking about November December January February March April May June July he said in eight months. Well, that was on a uh, schedule for Keith Thurman's uh, history, right? He has a history. When he came back, he, he fought Danny Garcia in March of 2017, unified the belt. He beat Danny Garcia. He went on a hiatus. We didn't see Keith Thurman until uh, January of 26, uh, 2019. 
He fought January 2019, late January 2019. He beat Josito Lopez, came back in July. He fought Manny Pacquiao, right? That's on par. February 5th is pretty much the first week of February. Uh, and uh, then he said, give him eight months from there. He'll be ready, which would be July. Well, then World Boxing Council, better known as the WBC, President Mauricio Suleiman, board of 32 members, they decided to intervene and make Keith Thurman's fight with Mario Barrios a title eliminator, making him the mandatory for another guy that Keith Thurman avoided, uh, you know, aggressively avoided, who was aggressively pursuing him for a fight, and that's Earl Spence Jr., okay, who holds the WBC title. He unified those belts September of 2019 against Sean Porter, okay, who beat Danny Garcia uh, for the vacant WBC title that Keith Thurman beat Danny Garcia for. Keith Thurman lost the belt due to inactivity, okay? Uh, and so with that said, Keith Thurman, we know he gave Errol Spence the runaround. Stated that that was his big fight, his future Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather the moment for his career. Uh, and it was down the line and Errol Spence had to wait. You know, young pup was going to get his opportunity somewhere down the line. Uh, Errol Spence aggressively pursued Keith Thurman to the point where now Errol Spence is saying he'll never, ever fight Keith Thurman ever because he don't like the way he maneuvered around him. He didn't give him the opportunity, you know, uh, and... He just don't simply like Keith Thurman as a person. Terrence Crawford pursued the fight. Keith Thurman then, after the fight with Mario Barrios, said that he no longer had interest in fighting Terrence Crawford because he's going to route of the WBC. Well, now Keith Thurman is accepting the challenge from Danny Garcia, saying that, you know, uh, he gave a Muhammad Ali quote, you know, saying that things is different. Danny Garcia still has very slow feet. Uh, he, his feet are equivalent to a, a car with a flat tire. You know, uh, he looked good against Josito, uh, Jose Benavidez Jr., who's equally uh, uh, slow-footed, you know, uh, and he would dominate him, and, you know, uh, he would happily accept the challenge at 154. But what happened to the big fights? What happened to the version of Keith Thurman said, I got an O, I ain't afraid to let it go? What happened to the version of Keith Thurman, you know, uh, that was telling Paul and Mal Malinaji when he had the belt, don't duck me, son? What happened to that version of Keith Thurman? Where did that version of Keith Thurman go? Keith Thurman, in an interview he did with uh, uh, Showtime on a panel with Errol Spence, Deontay Wilder, and himself, he openly admitted that he wasn't hungry as Errol Spence, and he wasn't hungry as the other fighters that was pursuing him. Uh, you know, there was talks of Keith Thurman fighting Jerron Boots Ennis, right? Undefeated, rising, welterweight, superstar, title contender. Jerron Boots Ennis is 29 wins, no loss, no draw, 27 wins by way of knockout. He is uh, 25 years of age, 5 foot 10 with a 74 inch arm reach. Keith Thurman showing no interest, asking for $10 million reportedly to fight Jerron Boots Ennis, which I understand. Uh, Keith Thurman is looking for retirement money. Uh, he's not looking for he's looking for retirement security. He's not looking to build his legacy anymore, and it's uh, disappointing and it's uh, pretty sad because. Uh, Keith Thurman at one point was viewed as the best welterweight in the world. Uh, he held off Errol Spence fight and then he finally stated that, you know, um, uh, uh, you know, he, he, his Errol Spence was his Manny Pacquiao Floyd Miller fight, but he misjudged it. He actually got Manny Pacquiao in the ring and then he lost. Uh, he got dropped, hurt badly in the 10th round, you know, um, and he lost. That's the only blemish on his resume. Um, I think he underestimated, drastically underestimated Manny Pacquiao. And uh, Manny Pacquiao beat Keith Thurman, right? And, um, you know, he just don't seem hungry anymore. He's not pursuing legacy, right? Uh, you, he's not in the limelight no more. Uh, you know, the Jerron Ennis fight would be huge for Keith Thurman, you know, um, and huge for, you know, uh, Jerron Boots Ennis, even bigger for Jerron Ennis. But Keith Thurman has no interest. Now he's accepting a challenge with Danny Garcia. You know, uh, you beat Danny Garcia. I guess, you know, uh, Keith Thurman coming back and, you know, uh, Danny Garcia don't present the same challenges that Errol, Jerron Boots Ennis does or Terrence Crawford or Errol Spence, you know. Um, but it's disappointing that the best are not fighting the best. Uh, Keith Thurman, once upon a time, used to brass and boast about having an O and not being afraid to let it go. He used to brass and boast about being, you know, uh, um, you know, telling Paul and Malinaji, don't duck me, son. You know, uh, uh, um, calling out Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. Uh, he was once considered the best welterweight in the world. 
taken over from that Floyd Miller, Manny Pacquiao era. And now we end up here. A uh, bunch of inactivity since unifying the belts against Danny Garcia in 2017. They fought five years ago. Uh, it was entertaining, you know, uh, both big names, but what are they gonna fight for at, at, at junior middleweight? There's one undefeated, I mean, there's one undisputed champion at junior middleweight. And his name goes by the name of superstar boxer Jamel Lyons only Charlo. Jamel Charlo is 35 wins, one loss, one draw. Uh, 20, uh, 19 wins by way of knockout. He's 32 years of age, six feet tall with a 73 and a half inch arm reach. He's the undisputed champion there. Danny Garcia may mention a fight in Jamel Charlo. Keith Thurman may mention a fight in Jamel Charlo. But now they're looking to dance around Jamel Charlo in, in different division. It's Keith Thurman, he stated that he didn't want to fight Terrence Crawford because he wanted to seek out becoming a world champion again. Well, wouldn't fight Jerron Ennis or uh, fighting Terrence Crawford for a belt, wouldn't that symbolize becoming a world champion? D Danny Garcia is not a you know, uh, um, a player to become a champion at 154. He's not in the conversation of beating Jamel Charlo. Tony Harrison was ringside and called him out. He ignored Tony Harrison, okay? So it's a bunch of picking and choosing and strategic movement in the sport of boxing, and it's disappointing to the fans and the boxing pundits, period. So that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button, drop a comment in the comment section, let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Road. Make sure you like and share the videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.